The weather has turned over the last few hours, so Baumwalker Stadium is filled with Hawk fans bundled up. Still showing some hustle, though. Hagen Smith and the Arkansas Razorbacks welcome in the James Madison Dukes, the opener of a four-game series. Now, the Dukes know they're going to have to go up and face one of the best pitchers in the country in Hagen Smith. Yeah, Hagen Smith's stuff is absolutely electric. He's a bulldog on the mound. He'll throw a lot of strikes. On He'll opening sit. day, of course, four games over this weekend, kind of changes the complexion of everything, and Hagen Smith will issue a walk by any stretch of the imagination. And that one just drilled Mancini. So, Troy, that's an inauspicious beginning with a walk at an HBP. But barely. Another payoff pitch. Lifted in the air to center. The wind's really pushing this back towards the fence. And, my goodness, the Dukes have a three-run homer to begin this game. Fenwick Trimble got one up. The breeze pushed it out, and the Dukes have scored three. Here's another payoff. Wave and a miss. Chase that high fastball. And the next pitch in there for strike three. Hagen able to fight through it, Troy, but how about that three-run frame for the Dukes? Yeah, really nice. Big leg kick, tight leg kick. Diggs will lift one down the line and left. Dooley chasing. He gets turned around, and that ball's going to land right on the warning track. Like a seven iron on a par three, he's putting for birdie, and he's got himself a double. Interesting load right there, and he's going to take, and that's ball four. So how about that? His first Razorback plate appearance. He draws a walk, and I guess Arkansas. McLaughlin strokes one to left field. That's dropping in front of Dooley. Diggs is going to be waved in. He should score. He will score, and Arkansas is on the board with the McLaughlin RBI single. Couple of home runs last season. Hits one hard up the middle into center. Base hit. No surprise. Peyton Holt does it again. Wagner locked up around second and able to scramble back on the base hit. It's a 3-2 game. The Wild Stallion is loose again, and Peyton Holt, Will McIntyre, comes on. Yeah, Will McIntyre, I love a line. I'm going to steal it from Matt Hobbs. He said he's a guy that just swallows up innings. So he said you blink, and he's just throwing four innings, and that's flip that switch on and get ready to go. Paints one on the outside corner for strike three. Well, I thought that was a little bit out. A different pitcher here in the second. Pfeiffer rolls one softly to first, backhanded by McLaughlin. A little underhanded high flip to McIntyre. Is able to get there and make the play. Does he bring to that pitching staff to be able to have that experience? Great pitch right there for the punch out. In recent years for JMU. This is Jared Sprague Lott, the Richmond transfer. Skies one high in the air. Deep left center field. His razor back debut features a home run. Welcome to Bomb Walker Stadium, Jared Sprague Lott, and he's tied the game. First of many homers for the Razorbacks this season. And the hog pin up for grabs. That's a breezy place today. And Sprague Lott, boy, Troy off the bat with a 43 degree launch angle. You thought that one had a great chance. Yeah, it really did. And uh, it really didn't have a chance to go foul, but boy, that wind kept it. Well, Struck out looking to begin the bottom of the first. White drives one to left. High and deep. Hello, Hawk Pan. Hudson White with his first racer back homer. And he's put Arkansas in front four to three. Party time in the Hawk Pen. 11 homers last season at Texas Tech. Must be good to get number one out of the way in game one. Boy, when he swung it, just connected. That was. Rock solid swing right there by Hudson White, and no doubter into you the hog. See man. it land out there? I mean, there's flags going, and there's coveralls and camo, and I, I couldn't even see where it uh, finally came down. His 342 batting average was second best. He's got himself two hits. Homer, and now the Oppo single. There's a roller to the right side. McLaughlin will throw to second for an out. Back to first. That's going to be a double play. It felt like that was in slow motion. Dooley rung up. Arkansas gets the DP. I think we're going to review this one, though. McLaughlin does it. Gives him a nice feed right there. I mean, Aloy's flat-footed. I don't know if you can tell from that angle or not. The runner at first, safe. Okay. The 2-2, up the middle. That's a long run from Holt, but the throw 
Skips by McLaughlin. Had it been in line, there was going to be an out. The throw to second base, though, is going to be in time to cut down Calabrese. A lot going on in that sequence. You get a place of first that? McLaughlin DH. I think you'd also like to have that DH, and that's ball four for a guy like Ryder Helfrich. That's low, that's ball four. Runners go, pitch is low, throw down, bounces, and it goes into center. But Wagner got locked up, and he's unable to score. Right field about 20 miles an hour. Stroke to right, that's a base hit. O'Donnell's able to get to it quickly. Holt will have to hold it third. Sprague Lott runs through the stop sign. Now he's in a rundown. Holt's going to try to score. Holt will score before the tag is made, and the Hogs out of that get two. Holt held it third. Sprague Lott never stopped. And this is about the time Holt took off, and he was able to score with the hair flying in the breeze before the tag was made on Sprague Lott, so the Hogs did get two. Payoff pitch, hit into left for a base hit. So Wilmsmeyer has his first racer back hit. Then again, he had 60 of those a year ago. And you talk about this guy's speed where it gets runs by Gregory and battles. That's a wave and a miss. Out in the second Mike. against McIntyre. Chopper to short. Not a lot of ground ball activity today. Aloy will scoop and throw. Retired Dunaway, two this outs. This Mancini. Pops that one down the line and left. Sprague lot pursuing. He made a somewhat difficult play. Look rather casual to end the inning. How about cruising through that fit? Down in the count. Might have himself a third base hit. Jones pursuing. Won't get there. And it's going to split the outfitters and go to the fence. Tremble's going to stop at second base. Perhaps he took the baseball. And I can attest it takes a while to get used to all that. Chopper to McLaughlin. He'll take it himself. Wave off Will and get the out. Razorback bullpen. Off the bat of Calabrese. This will score a run. Throw to first is in time. Donald struck out this last time it against McIntyre. Takes one on the corner. Strike three. McIntyre in five innings. Got a little tight behind the knee. 60th pitch is a roller to third off the bat of Steinberg. Right to Sprague Lott. One pitch. Another payoff. Miss low, ball four. And the Dukes have a base ski goggles out there. Soft little flare. This is trouble. Taken on a bounce by Holt. Steps on second. Bounces one to first. They're going to say double play. Pfeiffer didn't beat it. Break too soon. I didn't think off the bat this was going to be a double play. You'll notice that the umpire said out at first. Base safe. 23 appearances in 23 for Gage Wood. Five saves. Really kind of thinned his body down. Watch list for the stopper of the year. That's a wave and a miss, and all it took Gage Wood was a handful of pitches to get a strikeout to end the seventh. I can remember talking to John Cohen, who's the athletic director at Mississippi State, former head coach. Nobody out, bottom of the seventh. Hard hit, base hit. 105 off the bat for Kendall Diggs. Part of a two for four afternoon, and the Hogs in business in the bottom of the seventh with nobody out. Little cue shot to third, handled by Pfeiffer. Steps on third, throw across the diamond. DP inning over. So the Hawks got their first two runners aboard, but did not score. Scratch out another run or not this thing up. That's trouble. Can Holt get there? Barehanded effort, can't get it cleanly. And just like that, the Dukes will bring the tying run to the plate. He walks him. Strike three call. Might have been a little bit off the on corner. Dooley, same location. Aloy will cut it off this time in front of the bag and throw a dart over to first to retire Dooley. Only throws. Wave and a miss. Gage Wood won the battle. Dukes left a runner at third base, much to the delight of the fans in the hog pen. Big kid. He's a tank. Serves that one out to right center field. It's down. It's going to go to the track. Wagner never stopped, and he's going to have himself a leadoff double in the eighth. Third base, you need that run. He'll do that and maybe more. In the air to center, back is Tremble. Still going back, he'll make the catch. But Lovich can tag and go to third in that long fly out. Fly ball to center, carrying out to Tremble, and the catch is made. So Arkansas doesn't. 
push across a run over these last five innings. On we go to the ninth. That is run full. Dukes could use a base runner. Strike three. That was down the chute at the knees. Dukes down to their final two outs. There's a chopper towards short. Big bounce for Aloy. Kind of an easy motion across the diamond. There's two outs. Gage Wood ready, the payoff pitch. Hit a mile in the air on the diamond. Sprague lot underneath it, contending with the win. Ball game. Hogs win on opening day, six to four. They were down three nothing right out of the gates. But Troy, they battle back and get the win. Yeah, a really big shout out to Will McIntyre to come in there and just slam the door on JMU. A couple big swings by the Hogs. And that was a tough fought win. That's a really good JMU team. Again, they're going to battle for three more games.